Today it seems that Minecraft has made its way to totally accurate battle simulator as we enjoy this beautiful Minecraft village here in the game. At the back, look, here's an adorable chicken. He's cute down here. You have some villagers hanging out in their village. More houses up here. Oh, there's another chicken. And look, the villagers have a nice little water section as well as some carrots here in their lovely town. But attacking the villagers, we do have some pillagers and some other bad guys, assorted illusionists. We seem to have a witch here over the corner, around the corner, a sheep. And you have our two main heroes but sadly our heroes are unarmed and they're getting destroyed by the pillagers and the witch and the witch and the pillagers are going to come here and attack the entire village the sheep is defending the village from the bad guys <laughs> oh one of them fell into the water good job there two of them fell into the water but now the witch is trying to find his way to attack the villagers, follow the witch and see where he goes. He seems to be stuck here on this wall. Where are the villa? Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. The villagers have found their way into the water. What happened to my chicken? Chicken is stuck behind the house. <laughs> and there's a villager hanging out up here, guys. This is the first map from Minecraft that I wanted to show you, but it's not the coolest, and these units are not the strongest. <laughs> so good. Now the sun has gone down, and all of the bad guys can make their way out. Here is a lovely mine with some treasure chests, but if you go around the outside into the woods, you're gonna see some creatures here. You have spiders lurking out in the darkness. Skeleton archers ready to unload with their fire arrows. And then you have zombies and a creeper hiding back here, ready to attack the village. The village being defended by the villagers as well as Steve and Alex using swords, diamond swords and diamond axes. Now we get to see if the villagers can defend the, um, guys, it's a stool. You're, you're tripping over a stool. All of you can't get past a simple stool. The skeleton archers are opening fire. Here come the spiders. And oh no, Alex is taking arrows to the chest. But luckily the sword is doing a pretty good job. Same with the axe, they're going through. The spiders, the creeper exploded! <laughs> but it seems uh oh, never mind. The zombie just ate him. My bad. Now the villagers are succumbing to the zombies. No. No. Guys, we need a stronger Alex and a stronger Steve to save Minecraft from all of these evil monsters. We need to go somewhere else. We need to go to the nether. Welcome to the nether. Hiding treasures untold. Take a look at the giant sword and the treasure chest hiding on top. Steve and Alex, multiples of them because this is a multiplayer game, have come to attack the nether, but they need to contend with its opponents. The ghast and the blazes here in the nether, as well as these skeleton guards holding up the front with a magma cube sitting here and being awesome. Over here, you've got piglins and piglin crossbowmen. Can the invading players in this multiplayer match contend with the beings of the nether? The skeleton guards are charging in the magma cube, lighting the players on fire. And the mel, oh no, the blazes have ranged fire attacks and the piglins are here but it seems that our players have their swords stuck behind their backs the blaze is unleashing fire attacks our players are going down the damage with the blazes is just too much the piglins were defeated the magma cube was defeated but the blazes are powerful but this isn't the end we have to go to the end literally welcome to the Minecraft end here in totally accurate battle simulator, complete with the Ender Dragon. And to start, I want to see if Steve and Alex have what it takes 
to fight the ender dragon here in his home. They are equipped completely with diamond armor and diamond weapons. Are they able to defeat the ender dragon or do we need to bring out somebody a little stronger, a little more special, a little more powerful than a simple Alex and a simple Steve? And so far it seems that the ender dragon is having his way with Alex and Steve, causing the fear, using its breath weapon, freezing what seems to be Steve. Is this Steve over here? I think that is. And Alex over here running away, scared of the ender dragon, about to be frozen solid. Guys, we need someone stronger than Alex and Steve. And so Technoblade, may he rest in peace. His character here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator has come to save the day, to succeed where Alex and Steve have failed. Can Technoblade take down the ender dragon or does even he need some help to defeat this final boss of Minecraft. Oh, we have done it, guys! Technoblade has saved the day.